Special thanks to the folks over at the Law of Attraction for teaching these things. Special thanks to many others who know these concepts to be true and for inspiring my latest whole 200 cents column. I could not write these without the influence and feedback of everyone I hold dear. What is your personal reality? The whole 200 cents. The way I see things. Rex Leslie Howard Jr. Preface. If you are tired of the same old life, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, this post is for you. Your personality creates your personal reality. If nothing changes about your personality, nothing will change permanently in your personal reality. Opportunities for love, growth, employment, true happiness and communion will come, and you will experience the honeymoon stages of these events where everything is great for a while, then your personality will begin to affect your personal reality, and you will repeat the loop all over again. It's called cause and effect. The world is always talking and most of what the world has to say is like the gibberish you hear in a crowded restaurant. If you ignore the person across the table from you and attempt to filter out and understand every conversation taking place around you, you're going to be stressed out. Then you will seek silence, never realizing your focus was misplaced. While silence is good and it is necessary from time to time for introspection, when you seek silence to the point of it becoming isolation, you stop learning. You have, in fact, allowed the act of listening to background voices push you into a state of ignorance. 4. If you are not listening, if you are not speaking, you are not learning. Previously created neural pathways close down. Then learning becomes a chore, a task of great strain on your mind, body and spirit. You know who the people are that speak life into you, and you know who the people are who speak death over you. It's up to you to figure out which one you want to listen to. And if you don't know how to tell which group is which, let me help you out with a couple of common sense approaches. Who supports you in your negativity? Those people are people you don't listen to. There's this belief that being an uncaring, abrasive and unpleasant individual makes you a better candidate for relationships and friendships. This is absurd. Who interacts with you on social media only when you post something inappropriate, vulgar, or vain? Those are people you should filter out. Who supports you in the wholesome things, the good things, the noble things, the pleasant things, the inspirational things you post? Listen to those people. Who tells you the truth despite the costs to them? Listen to those people. People who have known me and my family all of our lives are just blown away by the changes in us. They will ask us how we went from the violent, abusive, toxic and chaotic hot messes we were into the people loving, giving, sharing, caring people we are today. We tell them and they are amazed and they say they are going to do what we did but it takes work and it takes honest evaluation of who we are. It takes insight. Insight training is crucial to real and lasting change. When you decide that you will choose action over words, when you decide that you want change, you will listen to those who have changed and stop listening to jailbirds, thugs, career criminals and people with a continuing history of dysfunction. It will seem completely abnormal as you begin this change. Your body and your mind will fight the change because your body and mind have become accustomed to the chaos and drama you've been feeding it for so long. When you truly begin to start the process of change it isn't easy. It isn't pleasant sometimes. In fact, at the beginning it is painful because you have to realize that from the point you became an adult every toxic relationship and chaotic environment you became a part of is directly related to a choice you made. One of the toughest things you will ever have to implant into your mind is this. As children we were victims, as adults we volunteer willingly to become involved in toxic chaos. If we do the same things over and over again, expecting change our reality never changes. If we are not growing and developing daily, our personalities never change. Our realities, therefore, form the foundations of our personality. Addendum. The reversal of these terms was intentional and not accidental.